Okay, alright. Hello! Welcome. To my stream. How we doing, everybody? It's getting going. Oh, no. Nope. I do. I do have my coffee, so we're, we're good. We're ready to rock. Um, I'm super excited. This is where we're casting to Dungeon Alchemist live on Kick. So welcome all my friends on Kick. I am now officially a a map streamer, and I don't have to do D and D streams anymore. Um, which I do, and I will. I, I feel the two things are kind are related. I make maps solely for Dungeons and Dragons. So at this point in time, you know, what is the difference of me making a map and streaming D and D and Dungeon Alchemist? And I like the exposure, so I, I do flip back and forth, but. Uh, very excited to see Dungeon Alchemist coming along uh, steadily. Uh, we just had another patch released, the Magic Patch, so that has just been popping off. Uh, we have really been enjoying that. Um, you've noticed uh, my last couple posts on my Patreon and uh, on Steam Workshop have been the new patch maps, and you've seen that I've kind of been pushing the subject, really trying to experiment with the new tools, play around with them. I definitely took way more time on both these maps than I wanted to, but I feel like it was all good. You know, the tools are brand new. There's functions that I've never used before, right? And a lot of the tools in Dungeon Alchemist, they need a touch. They need a little experience, right? You need to know the ins and outs of them and how they interact with other assets in the code, right? Uh, and then once you do, they kind of are added to your arsenal, and you can just kind of have them incorporated in your in your mind and in your maps very easily, right? So I wanted to play around with the circular room, so I knew what what to do with those, how I can use them, where they are useful and where they are not. I definitely figured that out a good bit. Um, same thing with the diagonal rooms and such. The next thing I want to task myself with, I think, is uh, making rugs. So floor rugs are really small and individual. They're almost like throw rugs. So if you have, have like a 10 by 10 throw rug in your house, um, think that and that's essentially all the rugs we have um there's circle ones square ones rectangle ones um minimal patterns uh that can be varied with color briefly but um so what we don't definitely don't have at all is like a runner and i've done several builds several builds where i have like a long hallway a great hall um, and this is something that is a little confusing in my eyes, and I guess they're probably just inundated with, they are, I know they are, the, the devs are inundated with so many things to do, everybody is just wanting and wishing for everything, but they, we have a great hall auto function, we have several great halls in different styles, so like crypt, mansion, etc., but in these great halls, in every great hall I've ever seen, there is a long-ass red carpet, right? Or just like a runner. Phew, it just goes all the way down this 100-foot hallway and lands at the base of the throne, right? The king's throne, right? Um, and, like, you literally can't... I've tried so hard in so many ways to emulate that with abstracts, with... Unless I'm going to go and actually physically make the pieces myself, which some some creators have been doing, I've been putting off 3D creation um, as I'm just trying to build my channel and build my um, my uh, my network. Um, but yeah, so there is no there's no like that distinguishable red hall, red carpet, you know, or I mean, it could be blue, it could be green, it could be what have you, right? It could have patterns on it, the crest of the the of the throne that it's, it's leading up to, right? The house, but... Yeah, so that's the next thing I, I, I guess I want to try, is using the, the new shapes of the room to do... running carpets through a building. You can do diagonals, you can do curved carpets now, you can do, like, oval-type carpets. You can do all sorts of stuff, and you get to use the floor tiles now when you do that, where before the floor tiles were only squares. 
So there's a lot more options, I guess, and that's kind of the next the next task that I'm challenging myself with. But uh, we have given people enough time to find their seats. Let's uh stop talking about it. Let's go build some maps, hey. So I'm waiting to hear back from one of my clients to start a new commission. Um, it should be a fairly short commission. I think I'm only going to have about like two billable hours, but I'm excited because I haven't haven't uh, lined anything up in quite some time. So, but before I do that, I will be making my damn submission. I'm going to try and bust this out in two hours. Uh, so the name of the submission is called Tiny House, and as all damn submissions are, you can essentially interpret them any way you'd like, which is my favorite. So I really was at a loss for this challenge. I was like, tiny house? What am I going to make? A tiny house? You know, like, that's so literal. Like, I hate that. <laughs> um, so I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I got to think of something different and wonky and cartographer, you know. So I didn't have any ideas until I did, which is how inspiration always works. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. Um... Let me give you all over into uh, my world here as I uh, talk about what I'm about to build for us. I'll buy myself a little bit more black screen there. There we are. Oh, why is... Oh, hey! Hey, cat. I thought I created a second one. I did not. Okay, hold on. Oh, you wanted to change the properties on this before, so that's going to change the properties on it again. Just change it back. Fix my casters. Hey, little Harry, do you have a little stomach ache, huh? Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, thanks, cat. Knock all my stuff over. The family is home today, so there might be some background noise, and the kid might step on the camera. We'll see. Uh, how you doing, Ricky? How you doing? Good morning to you. Oh, and good morning, and good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. I'm the cartographer, and this is Maps by Cartographer. Uh, I didn't even do my own my own intro. <laughs> We're good. We're good. It's been a good morning. It was a little rough this morning, actually. We uh we were interrupted uh, in our sleep about 7 a.m. to the sound of every uh, fan and air conditioner in our house just shutting off at once. Um, the power had went out, and I'm like, oh my god. So I wake up. I go down in the basement. I'm all, all groggy. I'm checking the circuit breaker. I'm like, what what's going on with this? You know, like yada yada yada. Um, oh, before I go any further, let me check my spiders. Um, so yeah, so that was fun, but and then I was like, oh, I wanted to stream today, and I have no power, but then it came back around, like, nine, so. Not that big of a deal. It wasn't that big of a deal. Look at all these different types of spider animations. That's so cool. That's the one we want. Yes, the breathing. Very cool. Okay, so, anyways, back to as we were saying, as we were worrying. Um, so, I was at a loss. I didn't know what I wanted to make. I was confuzzled. Um, and then, yesterday, I had the, the privilege to uh, get to hang out with my kiddo all day, as daycare was canceled. So, uh, what, we, he, what we did was we hung out and just did, you know, da-da stuff. 
and we were exploring in the backyard and there's a I have a rock wall that kind of curtains the back side of my yard holds back a, a very large hill um, the wall has been deteriorating and there's definitely mice and chipmunks and stuff that live and run in it rodents right um, so I'm like, oh, I'm looking at these holes in the in the, the foundation of the wall. I'm like, oh my god, there's these large, just like caves of like rocks and just nothing inside them, right? And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, like what's inside these things? Like, let me look, you know. Like I assumed I'd just see like you know runs where like dirt tunnels where like rodents have like tunneled and dug and stuff. But in one of these holes, we found a, a very large spider, um, and it was like hanging and dangling ever so perfectly uh, in the. Uh, in the on its web inside the cavern um and it was small it was tiny um it was a, a like a hole about yay big my hands on the spider had to be like as big as my thumbnail um but we were like oh like what are we gonna name it we got, let's name the spider because it's this little house right there and my kids just like oh let's name it tiny and i'm like oh it's tiny's house ha 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 look at that i was like now i have an idea for this map <laughs> so we're gonna make a spider's home and the spider's name is tiny so i'm just gonna do a classic cavern here i think i need to give myself some more space so yeah, i'm just gonna just gotta work the terrain Okay, let's see. We are 20 by 20, so... That's ten. Three, six, nine. That's ten. I don't know why it seems uneven to me. Okay. <laughs> fill these sides in as much as they can be filled. It's an, a measurement that I often like to use.
Okay. Do do zoop 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 zoop. Okay. Okay. Super tiny ten foot hallway. Um, and almost like like a shoot. I I believe I want. I want this to be a shoot. So like they the players will are gonna fall into this, and it already is very shooty. Let's make it a bit more shooty. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, that is a shoot. So yeah, so the players are going to get shot out, and then we're going to try and do some webs. Um, I have some, some randomness, I guess. This is going to be as deep as I can get it, because it's going to we're doing a pit again, similar to the old map I did where I had kind of like the trick of the eye going on. Or I want this to look like it falls forever into the abyss, into the underdark, and then there's going to be a web over the top of it. This is my idea plan. Oh, let's do some more ovaline. Two, three, four. From the or two in the base. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's pretty close. That's good. I don't want don't want it to be a circle. So I like the shape that I have. And the the unevenness of the rest of the room is throwing me off a little bit too. Not a poop shoe, duh. No. Um, okay, so um let me go let me just put a web out. Just to see what I'm gonna look like and what I can play with. Hey, bud. Come here. I can't right now.
Okay, as promised. A brief interruption. I am back. As promised. Oh, and a slurpy slurpy to you and yours. I think I'm going to try to use this one and get it as big as I can get it here. Um, okay, okay, we're getting, we're getting something here, Ricky. We're figuring something out here. Oh, no, it isn't Dungeon Oak, it's not a Dingleberry. True Black! True Black! Give it to me. Give me the Vanta. Hmm. We need to play with this terrain a bit more. So, players will be able to grab on here, a chance to maybe run over here. Have them be able to. Well, maybe this comes up to this. Like so. And then we put a series of rocks to jump across. Back to another ledge. We just gotta find some shape. Find the shape that I wanna run with. I got a nice shape here. <clears throat> Maybe able to hop down. So those are will be on the same level. Step down. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, so e 
with the interruptions, I still think I'm finding a something here, something to go with here. We have a swoopiness over here. Oh, smooth. Um, we we've had a break actually. It's been pretty nice the the mornings. We're chilling. We had to get all the ACs and stuff for the past few days, but I feel like we finally had a break in the weather, so that's awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe we can do like a an exit of sorts. Yes, 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 yes. Lower just a tad bit. Flatten off that. I'm gonna do this off in the corner. Where's the medicine from there? Um, it's all. It's all. Oh, dude, that's that's wild. That's on another level right there. That is on a whole new level right there. <clears throat> Oh, those are some gorgeous rock stairs. Oh, I love Terrace. <laughs> that there. Let's go up. We don't need any of this anymore. I actually would like to round this off a bit. Something more like that. Very large. Beautiful. Um, I like that little edge. I like this. Hmm. Maybe do like a. a, a spider web. Yeah, I'm making a spider nest. I'm what? making um tiny's house. Tiny? Yeah, I'm making tiny's house. <clears throat> what is it? What, what's the spider? On? Uh, I haven't put a spider out yet. Let me go find one. Two Check it out. This one's tiny. And this one's Check them out. Spider. That's gonna be tiny. Yeah, I found spider. Nice. Yeah, that's tiny. 
That's a big guy. All right, let's go. I, it's your mama. All right, love you. See ya. Um, I want to make like a bowl right here in the rock. I want them to not want to go over here, and I'm thinking of reasons why. And so my reason why is that because there's a, a, a whole cluster of eggs that are held over here. like a little clutch of sorts. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> we have a shoot. We have a chance for players to be on either side. Um... We have a clutch, a big empty hole, and I guess this can be big and empty as well. And give us some more shape down here. I want that to be a bit more straight. There we go, nice. Um, try and give this some shape. It's merely just a point that the web attaches to. Bring that in a bit more. This is, this is fitting pretty good. Do a little bit bigger. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. All right, let's get to painting. Let's see what this room looks like when you get out of, rid of all this texture and color. <laughs> looks much better now. But, I mean, this isn't going to be everywhere. You know me. Um, okay. True black. Why 
why is it being weird? Like what? Oh, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, five. The five foot, the ten foot, so to here. And then we have a 20 foot jump, so we'll need to add a, definitely need to add another rock. Uh, heck is it? Why is it always hiding when I want it? <clears throat> Probably because I'm searching in rock and it's like just listed as stone. Oh no, no, it's listed as rock. Weird.
on two ten foot jumps. I'm trying to do my best to do like a rock. Pile up of sorts. Like the chute's just filled with the rocks. Beautiful. I guess I definitely do want to have like a a shelf of sorts. That just fits good. I guess it's high time I move this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Terrain. 
my shoot shooty shootier there we are It's the littlest little ledge. Um, coffee. gets deleted everything gets rocked the shoot gets shooted The terraces, they look beautiful, but you can't see them unless you look at them like this. So I don't know what I want to do about that. Okay. Um.
Okay, getting some descending look. Yeah, bud. Okay, so I decided I want to switch this out for a uh, a dirt shoot, one that's made of dirt so that they can scamper up it if they so choose. This is going to be like the exit, if you will. Pouring some dirt out onto the field there, we like that. Okay, and... May change that, we may not change that. Uh, 
Um, okay, let's do webs. That looks good. There we go.
Hmm. I think that's good. I like that. That looks good. Gorgeous. Also gorgeous. Crushing it on the web walls. That's freaking gorgeous.
Well, maybe I don't need that one. This is effectively done for the most part. Anything I do now is just ex ex accessory decoration. Dad. Yeah, bud. I think maybe I'll do some smaller cobwebs down here too.
Actually, the bodies will be a good trick for me. Watch what I'll do. There we go, really throwing the perspective with the bodies. There we go. Got a rock in there. Um, I wanted to do baby eggs.
Eleven seventeen, we're going good. Going strong. Nice, really gives it shape when you do this. Okay, okay. Then we'll just do some vegetation over here. Let's add a little strip of green right here, just for color. Another pocket right here, a little pocket right here. We won't have these pockets meet. These pockets will be separate, two separate pockets. Why? <laughs> just because. Welcome to Cartographer. Hey, yeah, so doesn't that just add some really good color to it? And honestly, like, this is my thing, is with the, the moss pieces are great, but they're too bright. They're too textured because they exist, right? Like, these these mosses really blend in. The gra these grass tones really blend in with the terrain and everything. They just look so much better than using actual moss. So I always do. I always opt for like fake moss, suedo moss.
Dig that. A little bit of smoke. Let's see if it's wild. A little wild. Perhaps we can go with a... Uh, some projected darkness. Do this after. We'll do play with lighting after. Let's just finish the map. We have plenty of time to do. To do lighting. It's one rock. There's one rock and one rock alone that I need. Just go on the rocks. Always do this. I wish they would let us change the color of this rock too. I like to use in this situation this one if ever you need a rock to just like bring in bring something in this is my go-to this one requires a second one so I've been wanting to put one of these on it probably yep perfect even better Oh. Some more rockiness. One last rock.
There we are, okay. Looking good, got another half hour of map building here. Um, abstract wall, we need some flowers and stuff. The truest of truths. So confused. Why are there two colors of black on this black? What? What is that? Is that cave ceiling st type stuff? It is cave ceiling stuff. Okay, bud. Hang on for me. Oh yes, give me some, give me the light. Find it. I don't need to find it. I know where it is, buddy. I've been it's over here in my assets. Let's bring him up here. See all those different animations he's got? Wow. The spider? Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. The waist is got on and the the head goes down and back goes like right here and and that and that's transforming. Whoa. Right there. What? Right there. This? Yeah. That's a bellows. Bellows? Yeah. It's for putting air on a on a fire for an iron a blacksmith. Whoa. Yeah. You will be able to move. And Owen, can you please stop leaning on my shoulders? Just stand straight, like yeah, this. Yeah, like that. that. Thank you. What's that red, Dad? That's called a grid. Red? Yeah. Um, what is that thing? That's the <laughs> enter button. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Can you please not press buttons? Okay, let me at least save, folks. Can you please not press buttons? Thank you. Okay, let me save. Toddlers, man. They just ignore every word you say. Like, I try to I try to be a nice, nice dad. And I'm like, yeah, I'll let you touch the thing. I'll let you do the thing. Like, can I save my thing so we can touch things? Can't even wait for the save. And it's gone. It's like, I just like, they have to do it now inappropriately and wrong. And like, it's like, uh, it's like some days I'm just really good. But like when I'm in the office and I'm doing my thing, it's, it's, it's tough for the little kiddo. But what are you going to do? Um, tiny's house.
Yeah, that green just does not fit in. Sometimes I like trying to like match up those fault lines like that. There we go. Just like a build up of rocks over there. I guess this should be a dirt path, as we don't really have any flat rocks that really exist. Jesus freaking dogs, dude. Like, I'm starting to get bothered. I'm just bothered. I'm impatient. I've been a little impatient the past couple days. Um, and I, I see that. I notice that. I'm working on that. Um, but man, this dog's just like... It's like it's just more and more. Like, it, they never cease. And I'm normally pretty good. I'm normally like the type of guy that's like, you know what? Dogs bark. Like, what you complaining for? Oh man, do they bark. They just keep barking. Keep barking. Ah, oh, shut up, dude. Like, they're just barking for nothing. They're not even, like, being good dogs. They're just barking. Ugh. Nice blue stripes. Uh, um, I had the I have the better plastic. Uh, yeah. Let's come in with some moss on here, just to define our edge. Then we'll get rid of it. Nice, dude. Darth Vader. Yes, we're a big Darth it's Star Wars fan. Hey, easy. You're smashing my keyboard, bro. It's yours now. Oh, it's mine now? Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. I just need some plants. Okay. Bye. Um, what Have a good that? time. What's that guy that about? That's Tiny. Tiny. Yeah, that's his name, Tiny. Tiny. Tiny the, the big, spider. The big one is. No, that's Tiny. That's not Tiny. The big one is Tiny. The small one is Cuckoo. Oh, that's right, Cuckoo.
Hey, what's up, Viper? Rock formation, far from right. I'm not sure I followed the joke. I'm building walls all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel you. I got you. Um, let's see. How are you doing today, Viper? Nice to see ya. I definitely made a choice not going with the, uh... Not going with the glowing mushrooms. I was trying to give some shape to the room, I guess. That's what I'm doing here now. Just always trying to add a little detail. Uh, what do you think, Viper? Think anything over here? Oh, gosh.
Okay. I mean, that's it. Doesn't really get much better than that. Let's just do our lighting. What's up, Asmo? Yeah, I've been trying to uh, dual cast for a while. I believe this is your uh, your spider here, so thank you very much. I'll be shouting you out uh, in my damn submission. I think it's just about done. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I saw a couple things. I gr went and grabbed those waterfalls, too. I've been excited to try and do some work with waterfalls. I always have to do, like, perspective bends and, like, tricks of the eye and stuff to get it to, you know, like, look like a waterfall. But I'm like, oh, yeah, why don't I just, like, just grab the waterfall asset and just be done with it, right? Um, yeah, nice, nice. Glad to hear you're doing well. Yeah, so this is it. I think it's done. I think I'm done. I didn't want to spend too much time because I've been spending way too much time on my dams. Word, word. Yeah, so there's like three options of sizes and stuff. Um, but yeah, so the it's tiny house, right? Tiny house. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do for tiny house, Asmo. I was like, eh. Um, but Mac always lets us bend the... Uh, the definition or like the perspective in which we interpret the uh the challenge right so i had an open mind and then yesterday i was hanging out with my kiddo we were in the backyard exploring and we found a spider in my backyard and it was a very cool spider in a cave similar to this not no it was more like a rock wall that it was sitting inside of but anyways the spider was there and i was like oh we should name this spider like give it a name and I, my kid came up with the name of tiny so I was like, oh my god, there's Tiny in his house. So this spider's name's Tiny. 
Uh, the spider lives here inside their cave. People slide down the chute. And they come and they get chomped. Oh, I did download a couple other spiders. I don't know where those have gone to. Um, there's still some stuff I gotta unscrub too. Unscrub. Love the bellows. Great idea. I think we'll probably get one soon enough and like fun with blacksmiths. <laughs> I'm gonna call every patch from here on out. Fun with insert here. <laughs> Yes, I did sub to some stuff. I don't know if I didn't have room for it. Because I'm pretty sure I subbed like five or six spiders because I wanted to have like the options. You know, see what's what. This one has the animations on it, so I thought that was cool. Uh, and you can you can rotate through them, which I thought was really cool. Um, My question is, is as far as... As far as use, right, for these animations, I don't know if there's another way to do it, but as of right now, at the moment, it um, it can only hold one of those those actions, right? Um, and it's going to stay in that, and then whatever's next up in queue will come up next, right? So say I have the spider and I have it in its breathing format, but then I want to click it and make it die. For the DM to be able to do that, they either have to have it on the die animation right off the drop and leave it as such, or they have to click and cycle through to the end of the queue to get to... So I don't know how that works and what it is. I'm assuming that's more or less just like just what it is like how it is you know which is no big deal um but just as like as far as like usefulness for a, a dungeon master somebody who'd be have to use that you know it'd be it would be nice if they would have like access like maybe i know quentin just added the uh the fast forward button on assets that have extra animations so that you can so you have you know what the play button is and then you know what the fast forward is they're two different buttons right maybe and again maybe a drop down for you know the different animations or something in the future i'm not sure try and look at this type Looping Water Fur by Dallas. Yeah, I have. I think I have those. Yeah. Oh, you have one that goes up? You madman. Oh, wow, dude. Everybody, look at this. Look at what Asmo has created for us. That is fuego. It has so much detail, too. Wow. Do you throw this over the, uh, the, this one? This is just water. Word, word. I get, honestly, what I mostly end up doing with waterfalls, because we don't have too much liberty with, like, multi-tier stuff, like we do now with magic and in general, but normally, like, the map isn't the top and the bottom of the waterfall. Normally, like, waterfalls, like, start somewhere else or end at the edge of my map. So, you know, you could just take one of these looping waterfalls and literally just, like, stick it on the edge of your map anywhere and be like, oh, it's a waterfall, you know, so... Yeah, those are that's <laughs> freaking gorgeous, my dude. I can't wait to use those. Um, just don't, let me let me save this and stop trying to work on it and stop staring at it. 
I'm gonna, and I say that as I go in here, and I'm just like, let me just put a little bit of a little, like, it's a little edging here. Give it some definition. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and we got our darkness down there. File. Save. Steam workshops. Publish map. Tiny's house. Public. Um... Legend has it that this spider once could fit on could hmm. Once was the size of a of a pea. Nice, very nice. Like an animated goop, like like it's oozing out of something. I think Animal Glow will have colors will be the same, or you'll do do with the assets like that. You have to do like upload them separately as their colors. Um, cause yeah, I guess like, like acid, flesh, blood, mud, um, black ichor would be another great color. I mean, maybe oozing gold, definitely oozing lava. Um. But I think you're onto something with that kind of direction of assets because I will often make a very fun, awesome, exciting build in DA and I'll be like, I'll look at my walls and my autogenic rooms and stuff and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm like, they're just like, they look good. The wall is great, but like, it's so clean. It's so like, it doesn't have enough to it, right? Yeah, of course. So you just, you would just have to update a couple different flavors. Um, legend has it that this spider was once the size of the P. This. Tiny, the spider. Once was the size of a... AP. Through the years, several times that size. Not so tiny anymore. And feast on much larger, larger prey as of late. Some of your portfolio images for your 3D creator, were those your like fantasy background pictures and stuff? Like thematic pictures? I did see that, it was like 300 plus pictures of just like stuff that might be like auto computer generated. Yeah, dude, that's, that's actually a really cool asset as well. I was super stoked about that. I gave it a like, um, 
just because you know like a lot of times we will opt to just go to an ai gen right but like there's there's more than enough options there for you in that whole package of non-ai stuff right that looks great right and and the other thing is like you're not gonna in those pictures you're not gonna get the weird hand swirl strong hand type like mess ups because it's not ai like it's, it's a real piece of art so and honestly what i what i thought of an idea from that is using those pages as inspiration right so if i'm going to make a town or i'm going to make a map a new map i actually there's a couple of them that spoke to me and kind of really called to me um specifically the rounded house one with all the rounded hovel houses i was like oh we could do circle maps now what if we did a circular village um and that's the backdrop right that's the photo that's the inspiration you show your party that that map and then you show them a bunch of circle houses on a map with no roofs and they can see the roofs in their head right you you, you add the roofs with imagination through a thematical picture like that where da wouldn't have the roof. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's an even a great use I didn't even think of. Thanks, Asmo. Uh, taking one of those very nice pictures with great resolution and shoving them into a picture frame, right? Portraits and more options as far as what you're decorating on the walls, which is something that I often run into where I'm like, oh, like these paintings all look the same and just a little different, right? Um, how many ways, how many different ways can you have take the same picture and make it look different, right? But to slap in some new pictures and i guess i'm always i'm always a little lazy i guess in that regard because i do a lot of work on my maps then i'm like i don't want to go into photoshop and i don't want to make my own photo art like i can i have I w i've done it in the past and i will if i need to but like i don't want to have to add three hours of of gimp time to my map so that i can have the picture so that like there's so many uses for all the that that big file like i have it i have it saved on my discord so i don't lose lose the post I don't know. I might throw them all on, on my, my, my backup hard drive. My backup storage, sorry. Um, just so I have them somewhere in, in form. Uh, shoot of Doom. Oh, caught in a sticky situation. Tiny welcomes you to his home. <laughs> Tiny's house. <laughs> All right, and that's a map. Damn, crank it out. Two hours. This is honestly where I like doing the damn because I, I, I'm a creator. Like I'm a content creator. I'm, I'm making maps. I'm doing commissions. I have stuff that I'm doing. I have projects that are very important to me that are, are gonna progress me in my network and my career. Right. So I don't want to spend all this time doing DAM subs. Um, but in that same regard, like I want to give them the right amount of time, the right around look, I don't want them to not look like a cartographer map, right? So um, I think like two hours is like perfect. It's like a perfect amount of time. The last couple maps <laughs> definitely took a couple, couple more. 
Um, export. I think we do borderless so we can cut that off. Um, export this to yeah, damn challenge. And some cinematic photos. even needs any it's a small map and what I definitely notice is the biggest factor when it comes to how much time I spend on a map is the size of the map hands down which is why I've done this thing on my on my my DM maps is I keep I try to keep them within 10 or 20 tiles um, for the sole reason of I don't want us to have to spend a lot of time. If like it's 60 tiles, it's like three times the amount of assets. It's three times the amount of tiles and three times the amount of assets. Oh, nice. Um, well, I mean, it's a good idea. Uh, I designed the the battle map with like an agnostic beginning. Um, I guess a railroaded begin beginning. So there's, it's like a chute. So if the players at any point in time fall down a cliff, fall down a chute, go in a hole, inspect a thing they shouldn't, go to a sinkhole, a floor falls out on them, like get thrown. There's so many different ways you could get thrown into a hole and then the DM says, oh, this brings you here. Um, so they kind of get thrown into it. Um, so it's merely just like a, a battle map. less less expiration more just a you're gonna fight this big bad spider now or run away let's see I gotta go and do the finish updating it Okay, DM challenge. Do this, go here, go to workshop, go to my workshop. Nice. Oh, it has good shape to it too. That's I always like. I always like it when it has good shape. Always do. It's very important to me. There we are. So, boom, inspiration. 
There we go. Get a thread up there. All right. Well, that's it for me. I have uh, an interview coming up, so I need to get out of here, kind of clean up a little bit, take the Star Wars off, get a bit more professional. Um, but thanks, Asmo, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, we will... We normally take a break on the weekends. I'll do work, but I don't think I'll really stream that much. Maybe a late night First Descendant. As this is the new game I'm playing. It's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see you soon over on uh, Dungeon Alchemist Discord. Take it easy, everybody. And take care.